Hello, I'm Todd Kerpelman for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Android Q Beta 2, hey, that rhymes, is now available along with an updated SDK. Included in this release are privacy features for testing and feedback, a new way to multitask with bubbles, a foldables emulator, and more. For more details and screenshots, take a look at the post. The Lustre open source parallel file system allows you to access large amounts of data at extremely high speeds and low latencies, but configuring it is a technically challenging and time consuming task. So we've released some scripts to help you easily deploy a Lustre storage cluster, ooh, that rhymes too, on Google Compute Engine using the Google Cloud Deployment Manager. To get started, head on over to the post. Cloud Healthcare API offers a managed solution for storing and accessing healthcare data in Google Cloud Platform, providing a critical bridge between existing care systems and applications hosted on Google Cloud. And it is now available in beta. Links to get started are on the post. Compute Optimized VMs and Memory Optimized VMs will be available for Google Compute Engine. Both are based on second generation Intel Xeon scalable processors. A link to sign up for early access is on the post. Language identification and Smart Reply are now available for MLKit. Example code and a link to the docs are, you guessed it, on the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Todd Kerpelman for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Ha! I'm just going to smile like I got something that I'm excited about.